Welcome again to Cooking in Finland. In this episode, a simple but elegant recipe for tuna tartare that can be served as a first course or an appetizer. The ingredients are very simple. In most of the world, tuna is exposed to carbon monoxide gas to keep it bright pink. That's not so common here in Finland, so the tuna you see is slightly gray, even though it is fresh. The photo of the final product you saw was from when I was at another restaurant and they had the proper carbon monoxide tuna. This is incredibly easy. Just pick fresh leaves from oregano, cut them up fine, select tuna that doesn't have any connective membranes, or trim those out so that the final tartar doesn't have any stringy bits. Then using a very sharp knife so that you're slicing the tuna and not mashing it, cut it up into little pieces. Do not use a food processor either. Add a little Japanese tagarashi pepper mix or some of my vodka chili sauce if you have my cookbook series. Add some salt, some MSG if you like, and the vegetable oil. Mix it up well. Meanwhile, blend the miso mixture and put it into a squeeze bottle. Slice the cucumbers on a mandolin to 1.2 millimeters thick, that's about 1 20th of an inch. Spread the cucumber out in a circle that will fit around a ring mold as shown. Load the ring mold with the tuna mixture. Press the crouton wafers down into the tuna mixture, but don't put them too close to the edge or they'll show through when you remove the ring mold. Make a quick little salad dressing with some olive oil and lemon juice and toss the greens in that. Put dots of the sauce on the cucumbers. Support the greens with the three crostini in the tartare and you're done. My apologies for being slower than usual in posting new videos, but I've been very busy finishing up the sequel to my cocktail book that was last published about 15 years ago. Thank you once again to my wonderful members. I would not be here if not for you, and I am here for you 365 days a year if you have any questions or comments.